Bruno Guimara's apology and impact as former West Ham player shines at Rangers. Newcastle United secured their second consecutive pre-season victory with a 2-1 win against Rangers on Tuesday evening. Let's delve into some noteworthy moments from the match. Ahead of the trip to Ibrox, there were interesting updates on the team lineup. It became evident that Alan St. Maximin wouldn't be joining the squad due to interest from a Saudi Pro League club. Eddie Howe confirmed after the game that it seems likely the French winger is departing, as he engages in discussions with another club, believed to be El Ali. Though no agreement is in place, St. Maximin is not currently scheduled to join the Newcastle squad for the Premier League Summer Series in the United States. The team departed for America on Wednesday for their pre-season tour, featuring matches against Aston Villa, Chelsea, and Brighton and Hove Albion. Another crucial player absent from Ibrox and the US tour was Joe Linton. The Brazilian has yet to participate in pre-season due to visa complications. How explained, Joe knew he had to go to London, Tuesday, because there were complications with the visa. We hope he can join us in America, but initially, he probably won't travel with us, though we expect him to do so within a couple of days. Despite these absences, several key players returned to the side after the 3-2 victory at Gateshead on Saturday. Sven Botman, Fabian Scar, Bruno Guimaraes, Miguel Almiron, Callum Wilson, Anthony Gordon, and Alexander Isaac rejoined the team after extended breaks due to international duty. Additionally, the new £52 million signing, Sandro Tunnelly, made his debut. Did you mean, and you, Rangers fan, would you like one of them playing for our team, 